you talk about, uh, you're not, I know you, you say you're not an expert on short-term market dynamics, but we're all watching Apple and Amazon in this race to a trillion dollars. Amazon sort of coming from behind. In, in the big picture, do you see more potential in one company or the other? Oh, in, in a substantial way. I think the delta between Jeff Bezos and Tim Cook as a 2018 CEO is unbelievably substantial. And I, I would bet every day of the week on Amazon. Why? Because I think Jeff has just shown so much more ability to navigate the end consumer's attention, which I think is the ultimate value in society. Uh, I think that Tim, A, is an incredible guy, and I like a lot of the things he, as a human and the company, is trying to push to stand for. But I, you know, I don't know, he's been the CEO now, what, seven, eight years? I'm not sure you can help me with this, but. I mean, what, ear pods? Like, well, you know, I've not seen Apple win in voice the way they should have with the lead they had with Siri. Uh, the HomePod's still not out there. We've not seen them win an original program. It's now been 24 to 36 months that that cat's been out of the bag. There's been no hardware innovation outside the ear pods that has any blip of anything. And all they've really done is slowly just advance things that have been in place prior. And so I just, you know, at least the way I think about the world. I don't look at it, the numbers and the ways in the short term and maximizing profit every 90 days the way everybody who watches this does. In the long term, what it means for consumers, uh, Amazon, through a magnitude of things, has done a far better job of mattering to the end consumer and continues to gain leverage.